back working on the trailer, I'm going to install the last two lights for the running lights on the back. Uh, I was going to do it yesterday, but I ended up snapping uh, the drill bit that goes in the hole saw. It like snapped it clean off. Um, and by that time, it's too late to go get another one. So I bought one today. Uh, I'm going to drill these two holes, put those on, and then I need to go to Big R and, uh, well, I'll probably measure and then I need to go to Big R and get some wire because I need to get some wire to do the like the harness and everything so I'm gonna do that uh, I'm gonna drill these holes first put the lights in and then uh, I think it'll, it'll look pretty good and pretty decent that way so uh, we'll see how it goes and I should have lights and brakes and uh, the whole shebang tonight and everything wired up hopefully I'm hoping and then uh, we'll work on this a little bit more uh, we I left uh, Trevor welded the exhaust, uh, but I helped him uh, pretty much get it started and running and uh, put the exhaust manifold and everything on. So uh, yeah, he did the exhaust last night. I kind of like helped him lock it up and everything. But then I was like, oh, I've been here all day. So I, I went home uh, and let him weld it because I wasn't too worried about doing it. So, you know, the exhaust doesn't look too bad. It was like on an S13. Uh, it's kind of like a, a made one, so but um, it'll do well for what it's being used for and everything. So uh, let's see. Yeah, but that, that's air filter. When that dust storm came through, like it just filled that thing with dirt, uh, even though it wasn't running or anything. So just sitting there, the whole like underneath the car was all like full of weeds and everything. But you'll see this thing on his video. So I'm not gonna really do much uh, recording of it. Uh, so we're going to take this to the vent to this, the G35, probably his S14 over there, uh, Jesse's car, uh, what else? Maybe both Jesse's cars. I don't know. We're probably going to end up taking a lot of cars. Uh, Aaron's going to have to tow some cars and, uh, and all that stuff. So we'll see what happens. Time to go big R to get some trailer harness, uh, trailer wiring for the harness. Uh, so this is the plug that goes to the receiver on my truck. Uh, it already has quite a bit of length, so I uh, cut some colors off so I know what colors I need. I think they have a seven wire uh, harness sold by the foot, so I'm going to see, but I wanted to bring these just in case so I know. And then I have some extra wire right here to do like the running lights and brake lights and everything from side to side. And I'll probably get 15 feet, so I have a little bit extra anyway. So I'm gonna go do that now, uh, and then when I come back, I'll wire it up the, uh, here, I'll show you how I, where I mount the lights. So the other light for the running light, I mounted right there. Um, that's brake and turn signal because they run off the same circuit. And uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good there, the uh, push-in ones, so uh, you don't like break the lights, and especially since the ramps are right there and everything uh, won't have an issue. These ones aren't, they just bolt right on the side of the trailer. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that really quick and then come back and wire it up. <clears throat> I'm back from Big R, so I got the uh, the wire that I needed. It's uh, seven wire um, trailer wire stuff. So I'm going to feed this through that, that center beam and then connect it to all the lights and everything. It doesn't even care about like, just like parking on curbs with his brand new truck and like, his, I don't even know what kind of trailer that is. It's like, I need to pretty much splice these two uh, harnesses together because I need more length to do the whole trailer because it's so long. So, uh, I mean, it had like some shoddy other stuff in there before, uh, but I have no shrink tube. So I need to bring some from my house or buy some tomorrow and then I can finish this up. Uh, I have so here's what I need for to finish up the trailer is some of these and some of this. Back from Harbor Freight, I got the uh, all the stuff that I hopefully need. I just remembered that I forgot my, I have like these things to fish wire through, like tight, tight spaces, they're like fiberglass, like poles almost. So hopefully I could get this wire fed through without those uh, is an issue because it's such a long channel, but I think I could, could get it to work. Uh, I might just like fish something like, like a piece of rod or something through first, hopefully, and then uh, 
and do that. But yeah, I'm, I have like shrink tube. I have these uh, like these fittings, and then I have like the little like clamps for the wires. So another thing I like, I get the marine heat shrink, and it's not really marine, but it's like a, a weatherproof heat shrink tube. So it's like adhesive line. So once you shrink it, it's like there's no water ingress into whatever wiring you do. So you don't have to worry about like later on there's like corrosion and stuff in the wires or anything like that. It uh, pretty much seals it up. So uh, yeah, these are those poles I was talking about. So they're just like fiberglass poles. And see there's like an end right here. And you just like loop a wire through it and rip it through. So I'm gonna do that. So I got the uh, trailer pretty much wired up. I still have the front running lights right here to uh, finish and I'm going to do that really quick. But the uh, brakes are wired and the uh, rear markers and running lights, turn signals and brake lights are all good to go. So uh, yeah, the trailer's pretty much almost done. Just needs a little coat of paint and uh, the front markers to be wired. So then I'll be done with this project 